Hi, my name is Meredith Whitney. I work with UVM Extension and the Vermont Urban and Community Forestry Program. Today we'll cover the basics of the emerald ash borer, including identification, biology, signs and symptoms, and what you can do to help limit the spread of this invasive species. Before we begin, it is important to go over what we mean by invasive species. To be an invasive species, an organism has to first not be from here, and second, cause some kind of harm to the economy, environment, and or to human health. In the case of the emerald ash borer, it comes from Asia, it is not native to North America, and it causes harm to our ash trees. So, what does the emerald ash borer look like? The adult beetle is only about half an inch long. It's about the size of a cooked grain of rice. It has a distinct bullet-shaped body, flattened head, and metallic green color. As you can see here, the insect is so tiny. This has played a role in how difficult it has been to detect the insect in our country. Let's take a look at the story of the emerald ash borer and how we got to where we are today. The emerald ash borer is native to East Asia. In its native range, this insect has co-evolved with ash trees. But how did the emerald ash borer come to the United States? The emerald ash borer, or EAB, was brought to this country in solid wood packing material. Once in the country, it has been rapidly moved around by transporting wood material, especially firewood. One of the main things that people can do to address the issue of invasive species is to stop moving wood material such as firewood. We suggest buying firewood where you will burn it rather than taking it with you on your camping trip. The EAB was first discovered in Detroit, Michigan in 2002 and since then it has spread to over 30 states and three Canadian provinces. Each red dot on this map represents a county that has found the emerald ash borer and all the blue lines represent the legal quarantine area around the infestation. You can see how widely the spread is on this map. The insect alone will travel one to two miles, but because of human facilitated movement of wood products such as firewood, it has been able to spread to places like Colorado that it may not have been able to get to on its own. The emerald ash borer was confirmed in northern Orange County, Vermont in February 2018. This is the first EAB infestation discovered in Vermont. It has also been detected in Caledonia and Washington counties. The EAB feeds on all species of ash trees. Here in Vermont, we have three different species of ash, the white, green, and black ash. Ash trees are distinctive by their pinnately compound leaves, opposite twigs, fruit samaras, and gray diamond-shaped bark. The emerald ash borer has also been found to feed on the white fringe tree. While white fringe tree is not in the same genus as ash, it is in the same family, oleaceae, which is the olive family. White fringe tree does, is not native to Vermont, but you may find it planted in yards and other recreational areas. The economic impact of the emerald ash borer has been greater than that of any other invasive forest pest in North America. Over $10.7 billion have been spent so far on treatment, removal, and replacement of ash trees because of this invasive insect. The emerald ash borer is a very quick killing insect. Healthy ash trees will die within one to four years of showing their first sign or symptom. In these photos, you see a streetscape in Ohio over the course of three years. The photo on the left depicts healthy ash trees, and three years later, on that very same street, those ash trees were killed by the emerald ash borer. Not only is the emerald ash borer a quick killing insect, but it is also a sure killer, and it has been found to kill 99.7% of North American ash trees. Here in Vermont, ash trees can be found throughout the state. Ash is generally an early successional species, growing well in disturbed areas, wetlands, and are commonly found along roadways. 
Landscape wide, 5% of trees in Vermont are ash. In some communities, though, it could be upwards of 20 to 40%. The emerald ash borer will cause direct expenditure of money in order to deal with the results of its presence. These costs will largely be borne by homeowners and municipal governments. At this time, there's no government or state funding to support the removal and replacement of ash trees infested by EAB. In addition to the economic cost, there's an environmental impact of the emerald ash borer. For example, you may not spend a lot of time thinking about arthropods or insects and spiders, but 286 species of arthropods depend on North American ash trees for food and shelter and at least 44 species of those insects and spiders feed exclusively on ash. Pheromone trapping in the Midwest has indicated that one species of moth is no longer appearing on ash trees. Before we get any further, let's take a moment and learn how to identify ash trees. Ash trees have opposite branching and the twigs are very thick compared to other tree species. The bark of an ash tree has very distinctive, deep diamond-shaped grooves. You can also identify ash trees by their leaves. Ash trees have compound leaves with 5 to 11 leaflets. Their fruit are called samaras and are sort of shaped like oars. You also see here photos of the buds. This would be what you'd see in springtime. The EAB goes through complete metamorphosis and has one generation per year, with some exceptions. The adults emerge in May or June. The adult beetle feeds on the tree's leaves between June and August. The female beetles lay their eggs on the bark of ash trees in the summer. The eggs hatch in seven to ten days. The larvae burrow into the tree and tunnel in the inner bark, creating extensive galleries that disrupt the flow of water and nutrients in the tree. This is what kills the ash tree. Larvae overwinter as pre-pupae. Pupation begins in late April or May. The EAB spends most of its life cycle inside the tree as larvae. The larvae are also rather small, growing up to an inch long, and are distinctive by the bell-shaped body segments. Now we'll take a look at the signs and symptoms of the emerald ash borer. One of the most obvious and distinctive signs of EAB are the S-shaped galleries the larvae create under the outer bark of an ash tree. Other wood-boring insects will also create galleries, but you will know that you have EAB if the galleries are S-shaped and on an ash tree. So let's say you have an ash tree in your yard, or you drive by one every day, and you think maybe it's infested with EAB. The, these next slides will show you some of the things to look for. When you add each of these individual signs and symptoms together, you will know if you have EAB or if it's just another sign of ash tree decline. We'll start with canopy thinning. The upper branches of trees tend to die back first, so a thinning in the top of the crown is characteristic. Ash decline for a variety of reasons, so this is not the only identifying characteristic of EAB. Stressed ash trees will also start sending out side branches, which are called epicormic sprouts. Again, this symptom is on its own not an indicator of emerald ash borer. One of the best, most obvious symptoms is intense woodpecker activity as they go after the larvae under the bark. This activity creates a blonding appearance on the bark that can be visible from the ground because the insect spends most of its life inside the tree and its exit holes are so small, it can be very hard to detect an EAB infestation until it is fairly well established. Detroit didn't notice their infestation for about 10 years. Feeding of EAB larvae often leads to bark splits, which expose the S-shaped galleries underneath. The adults exit the tree through D-shaped exit holes that are also characteristic of EAB. These exit holes are very small, however, only three to four millimeters, so they are very hard to spot. There are a number of native insects to Vermont that are easily confused with the emerald ash borer. One of the most commonly confused insects with EAB 
is a six-spotted tiger beetle on the bottom right. This is an insect that you are likely to see in your garden at about the same time of year the adult emerald ash borer emerges from ash trees. If you think you've seen the emerald ash borer, please report it on vtinvasives.org. vtinvasives.org is the go-to place for invasive species in Vermont.